Good day, learners of Special Program in Journalism 7. Welcome to another fun learning episode in TV Escuela. After watching this video lesson, you will be able to First, grasp the definition of science writing. Second, determine how to make science writing informative and interesting. And third, compose a science article. I am teacher Gloria Reginio Abanilla from Compostela National High School, Compostela East District. Today, we will discover new knowledge on the world of journalism. Before we start discussing the ways on how to improve your writing in science, let us first have a game. Prepare a glass of water and a spoon. In one minute, you have to empty the glass using the spoon. Are you ready? That's great! How do you feel after doing the activity? It's enjoyable, right? But slightly tiring. Through that, you have seen how to be like your heart. Repeatedly, it does it again and again without stopping. Thus, what you did is a good scientific analogy of how the heart functions. Hence, to improve your writing about science, you can use metaphors and analogies. Also, make science concepts alive. Can you remember what is a metaphor? Yes, it is a figure of speech in which a word or phrase literally denoting one kind of object or idea is used in place of another to suggest likeness. How about analogy? Correct! It is a comparison of two things based on their being alike in some way. Here are the following examples of good science writing that uses metaphor and analogies. Are you excited? Then, let us read together Cosmos by Carl Sagan. The earth is a place. It is by no means the only place. It is not even a typical place. No planet or star or galaxy can be typical because the cosmos is mostly empty. The only typical place is within the vast, old, universal vacuum, the everlasting night of intergalactic space, a place so strange and desolate that by comparison, Planets and stars and galaxies seem achingly rare and lovely. If we were randomly inserted into the cosmos, the chance that we would find ourselves on or near a planet would be less than one in a billion trillion. In everyday life, such odds are called compelling Worlds are precious. How did you find the article? It is beautifully written, right? Now, let us read another interesting science article. Are you ready? That's good! 
genome, the autobiography of a species and 23 chapters by Matt Ridley. If you took two plasticin amoeba and turned one into a chimpanzee and the other into a human being, almost all the changes you would make would be the same. Both would need 32 teeth, five fingers, two eyes, four limbs, and a liver. From the perspective of an amoeba, or for that matter, a fertilized egg, chimps and human beings are 98% the same. There is no bone in the chimpanzee body that I do not share. There is no known chemical in the chimpanzee brain that cannot be found in the human brain. There is no known part of the immune system, the digestive system, the lymph system, or the nervous system that we have and chimpanzees do not, or vice versa. But of course, we have only 23 chromosomes versus their 24. What comes to your mind when you hear the words science writing? Aha! That's a great idea! It is true that science writing pertains to writing that reports scientific observations and results in a manner governed by specific conventions and that refers to a form of technical writing. Did you like it? Yes, it definitely caught our interest. In that article, we have seen signs made alive. And for the last article, let us read together. Lives of a Cell by Lewis Thomas The microorganisms that seem to have it in for us in the worst way, the ones that really appear is to wish us ill, turn out on close examination to be rather more like bystanders, strays, strangers in from the cold. They will invade and replicate if given the chance, and some of them will get into our deepest tissues and set forth in the blood, but it is our response to their presence that makes the disease. Our arsenals for fighting off bacteria are so powerful and involve so many different defense mechanisms that we are in more danger from them than from the invaders. We live in the midst of explosive devices. We are mined. It is the information carried by the bacteria that we cannot avoid. Wow! It was an informative science writing, isn't it? I believe that you are already excited to compose your own science writing. But now, let me first show you 10 tips to improve your science writing. First, organize your thoughts, ideas, and action in a logical manner. Begin with sufficient background information to take your reader along the pathway from your observations or understanding to your hypothesis. Omit extraneous information so that the reader can obtain a clear picture. Second, simplify your word choices. Use simple, straightforward language. Third, write concisely. 
Science writing must be concise. No one appreciates long and or unnecessary descriptions or paragraphs. Use simple and direct language. Fourth, use passive and active voice appropriately. In science writing, it is important to know when to use passive and active voice. In the discussion section, a mixture of passive and active voice is acceptable, but take care not to mix the two together in a single sentence. Fifth, select the appropriate words. The best words can accurately capture what the author is trying to convey. You may use a thesaurus to replace the word or phrase with a more appropriate word. Remember that our article should not be boring. Six, avoid filler words. Filler words are unnecessary words that are vague and meaningless or do not add to the meaning or clarity of the sentence. The following are examples of filler words. It is, it was, there is, and there has been. It is important. It is hypothesized that. It was predicted that. There is evidence suggesting that. In order to. And there is a significant relationship. Seventh, optimize paragraph and sentence structure. Each paragraph should present a single unifying idea or concept. Extremely long paragraphs tend to distract or confuse readers. If longer paragraphs are necessary, alternate them with shorter paragraphs to provide balance and rhythm to your writing. Eighth, Use transitions to control the flow. Place transitional phrases and sentences at the beginning and end of the paragraphs to help the reader move smoothly through the paper. Ninth, word repetition. Avoid using the same word or phrase over and over when another more descriptive word or phrase could be used. And lastly, 10. Read your writing out loud. Read your final paper out loud to check the rhythm. Find words and phrases that are repeated too many times within and between sentences and paragraphs. You will often find words that are unnecessary and can be completely eliminated or replaced with alternative word choices. Since you have already learned how to improve your science writing, it is time for you to compose your own science article. Be guided by the tips that we have discussed a while ago. Your written output will be checked by your teacher in basic journalism. Congratulations, dear learners! What a productive day to all of us! Once again, I am Teacher Gloria Regenio Abanilia, from Compostela National High School, Compostela East District. Saying, Dito sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!